Hello and welcome to the Grand Chocolate Essentials on Valrona TV. Today we are going to take a look together at how to make a chocolate mousse using a chocolate creme anglaise. Throughout the recipe I will address some technical points already presented in previous episodes. To make this mousse, we are going to need UHT long life cream, full fat milk, egg yolks, caster sugar and Manjari 64% dark chocolate. First of all, make a creme anglaise by mixing the sugar and the egg yolks. Then, pour in part of the heated cream and milk. Heat the whole mixture to 183 degrees Fahrenheit. Please note that this temperature is important to creating a smooth creme anglaise. Then pass it through a chinois sieve. We are now going to create the emulsion between the melted chocolate and the hot creme anglaise. While keeping the mixture above 95 degrees Fahrenheit, the ideal working temperature for the emulsion to achieve a glossy, elastic texture, the sign of a good emulsion. Use a hand blender to complete the emulsion. Now, to the foamy mousse cream, using cream with a 35% fat content, the ideal percentage for the best possible texture and aeration. The cream is of paramount importance, as this is what will give the mousse its lightness and ensure a perfect texture with a beautiful honeycomb structure. Whip the cool cream on a medium setting for better aeration than whipped cream beaten on a high setting. Note that it's important for the cream folded into a chocolate mousse to be very frothy and as aerated as possible. So we are talking about the cream expanding like a pyramid, with the cream having an ideal texture when it's at the top of the pyramid. If the process of whipping is continued, the texture of the cream will become dense and lose its volume. This is not recommended for a mousse mixture. This is an ideal texture. On the other hand, this is cream which has been whipped extensively, so absolutely not recommended for a mousse mixture. You can see that the difference in the texture of the cream will have an impact on the results achieved with your mousses and other mixtures. Temper the chocolate creme anglaise at 113 to 118 degrees Fahrenheit. Temper milk chocolate at 100 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. And white chocolate or blonde coloured chocolate, such as Dulce, at 95 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Fold in part of the cream. Carefully finish by adding the remainder of the cream. Blend it gently. The final temperature of the mixture should be between 81 and 88 degrees Fahrenheit to prevent the whipped cream from losing its form and to prevent the cocoa butter contained in the chocolate from crystallizing too rapidly. Use this recipe in desserts and garnish in glasses like these. Using a piston funnel, fill the dessert glasses. You will need to leave the mousse to crystallize for at least 12 hours for storage in the refrigerator. With pots of mousse that have now crystallized, here is a decorating suggestion for your glasses. Using a few little cubes of cake, arrange three cubes around each glass and finish with a round chocolate decoration. To conclude, if we consider that chocolate mousse is a fat-based product in terms of its components, that it contains a high percentage of moisture in the form of creme anglaise and the liquid cream, and furthermore that chocolate is the cement holding the recipe together thanks to its cocoa butter content, 
It will be necessary for you to master its various stages of emulsion and aeration. You can find all the technical details of this recipe on the Valrona TV website. Thank you for watching. See you soon.